This video will cover the topic, Simplifying a Ratio of Factored Polynomials, Linear Factors. Let's begin with a quick review of some things we've learned in previous topics. First, we know that a ratio can be written as a fraction with a numerator and a denominator. We've also learned that if there is an integer in the numerator and another in the denominator, we can simplify the ratio by factoring out the greatest common factor of these two integers. For example, Let's simplify the ratio 20 over 30. 20 and 30 have a greatest common factor of 10. So 20 over 30 can be written as 2 times 10 divided by 3 times 10. This is equivalent to 2 thirds times 10 divided by 10. 10 divided by 10 equals 1, right? So does this equal 2 thirds? Right. If we have the same factor in the numerator and the denominator, these factors cancel each other and equal 1. So what does this have to do with simplifying a ratio of factored polynomials? If we see a ratio of factored polynomials, and the polynomial in the numerator shares a factor with the polynomial in the denominator, those factors cancel each other and equal 1, just like when we deal with integers. So for example, if we're given the expression 2 times 3x plus 1 divided by 3 times 3x plus 1, the factor 3x plus 1 appears in both the numerator and the denominator. So those factors cancel and equal 1, meaning this expression is equivalent to 2 thirds for most values of x. What if the polynomials have more factors? Great question. Consider the following example. Simplify the expression 10 times x plus 1 times x plus 2 all divided by 15 times x plus 3 times x plus 1. Let's begin by simplifying the coefficients. We can see the factor 10 in the numerator and 15 in the denominator. They have a greatest common factor of 5, right? Right. So we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 5, and the expression is simplified to 2 times x plus 1 times x plus 2 all divided by 3 times x plus 3 times x plus 1. Now let's look for any polynomial factors that appear in both the numerator and the denominator. Like x plus 1? Exactly. The linear factor x plus 1 appears in both the numerator and the denominator. And x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 equals 1. So this expression equals 2 times x plus 2 divided by 3 times x plus 3. This is the most simplified form of our expression. How come we can't cancel the x plus 2 and the x plus 3? In order to cancel two factors, they have to be exactly the same. Since x plus 2 is not equal to x plus 3, their quotient does not equal 1, so they can't be factored out. So to simplify a ratio of factored polynomials, we can cancel like factors of the polynomials in the numerator and the denominator. Right. Nice job.